Hello guys, it's Isabella here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today is going to be an update on my book writing series. Um, this is episode three, I think. It has been forever since I have updated this series and I apologize, but like I've been hella busy with life and I just feel like I haven't gotten around to writing books until last week last week I was just like I'm tired of not like writing I need to like be over here because if I'm over here I'm getting cut off and like <laughs> anyways I was like last week or two weeks ago I think I was like I'm so tired of not writing anything for my book for my book series for YouTube because I feel like I need to like update because like duh it's like I can't just stop it immediately like all together and for no reason um so I decided I was like hey why don't I like write separate short stories and like go off on a tangent and like not write like proper books but like improve my writing somehow by writing like you know what I mean like I decided to write these stories because I need to improve my writing and I feel like I needed that because you know, I've been like reading, rereading books that I love the writing of. And I'm like, I want to get to that level and improve my writing. And how do you improve your own writing when you're not in college and people aren't at, like telling you how to like properly write books or like, all I can do is intake a bunch of like source material and then read my own writing and then try and critique my own writing and improve, improve what has already been done and edit it and like see the chapter before what I've already done. Like see the chapter I've already done and be like, okay, here's what's wrong, but here's what's right. Let me take what's wrong and fix that in the next chapter. And when I'm doing good already, keep it coming through the next chapters. You get what I'm saying? I would just like to premise this is not even like I don't think this is stalling on my book. I just want to improve. And I obviously like am excited to keep writing my book because I've had this on I've had the story in my mind for literally ever. And these characters I really love and the story is it's just amazing. And this is it would just be stupid for me and I obviously my heart would not be in it if I felt the need to stall. I just want to be the best at what I can do. And what I learned is the the best that you can do is all you can do. So that's what I'm going to do. I've written three different stories um, on my Google Docs. And they're not really like long stories. Two of them are going to be pretty long. And then like the third one isn't like a book. It's more like a series of short stories that I'm like they're like exercises for me you get what I'm saying like I already like finished one so I'm just like hey why don't I do a second one and make this like a like a routine for me like a monthly routine so like one month this isn't like an actual plan that I planned out but like I'm just like I finished it in four months one short story that was like five pages and I was like hey that's way too long to write a short story why don't I narrow down the time of writing these stories to one month or two months? Just make it reduce the time of me writing a short story. So the short story that I have written, I have like little notes on my phone. And um, the third story, the third story, the short story is so far is one and a half pages which I think I started it like last month. So I need to get to that because that's not even halfway done. And it is 499 words. That is a lot. And uh, it's cool. Especially compared to the other things I have done, which are the two other stories. The first story is four, five pages. And it is 1,326 words long. And the second story is 11 pages with 3,688 words long, which is a lot of writing within a month. And the, the, the 
these longer stories, I started last week or two weeks ago. So like, that is a lot altogether. I need to sum all these together, actually. Altogether, that is 5,513 words. Did I do the math right? Yes, I did. So, a lot of words for me. And, um, yeah. I also... <laughs> I also just, for some reason, for my two really, really, really long stories, um, I made <laughs> playlists like songs, like a list of songs for both of them. I started um, the 11-page one on the same time as I started actually writing the story because I already thought of the story like beforehand. I was just like, hey these oldie songs would go great with this story. So um, for the 11 page story, I have 32 songs. And for the shorter story, I have five songs because I started it yesterday. Um, and literally like I'm never sharing these stories with anybody. So I don't know why um, I did that. So I guess this is for my like personal like it's a personal thing to me you know maybe I should oh my god I should make a playlist for my book I'm so stupid I need to get to that immediately I'm going to move on to the critiques that I am making about my own writing which are so far I have one two three four no technically three and then the fourth one is like something that I have observed or the two of them, two observations that I have made. So let's get on to the critiques. First of all, I've noticed that my writing consists of a lot, like, like for, like, let's say like, okay, I'm going to just, this is the, this is the more happy than not. I finally freaking started it. I'm like one third of the way there, but I'm looking through the pages and there are, are tiny paragraphs when there are dialogue. And then there are like, pretty like chunky paragraphs for like when the a character is making an observation or is describing a person or like whatever there's dialogue which is one or two lines and then there's like a few like long paragraphs my writing consists of like so many lines of like they're like short paragraphs like multiple mini paragraphs instead of like consistent like dialogue long paragraphs a few lines paragraph and that's pretty weird I'm going to tell you why because a lot of my writing I've noticed is actually dialogue so I don't know why I would like you know how you learn in school that like I should lean back so that I can actually own with the mic right but you, you know how like in school that like Direct characterization is kind of boring when it comes to like people reading. So you need to do indirect characterization. Like you need to base the dialogue and the actions of a character. That's what like is good writing when it comes to actually like, you know, writing a character. You don't want to like tell the reader about this character. You need to see it and you need to like, I don't know how to describe it. I decided that dialogue and like describing how the like describing how the character acts around other people and reaction to what other reactions to what other people say and their actions is very good direct characterization. So I mainly focus on dialogue so that it's like and like description of like how people how characters do things and like what their habits are and what they like and dislike and how they interact with like new people. That's what I'm doing. So there's a lot of like one, two lines, one, two lines. And then there's an occasional like four line kind of paragraph. And it's either describing how a person looks or it's like describing something really big that's happening or yeah, I should probably fix that. You ever heard of comma splices? I'm learning that this year. And I also learned that in middle school and elementary school. And I learned that last year and the year before that, which is exhausting. Okay, I'm tired of hearing it again and again. But I've noticed in my writing, 
there are so many commas. Like, what? Why? Why? It's just, um, I need to fix it. I know it's, like, a problem, okay? I just, like, I tried to edit it. Do you know how much editing goes into writing a damn story? Because it is a lot. I, I can't, like, I don't feel like putting on multiple drafts on my computer because my computer is already so filled up. So I will literally, <laughs> I have realized how crazy this sounds. And when I go over it in my head, I'm like, wow, like this is insane. Like that is a lot of time and effort put into like a five page chapter. It's like a, actually a 10 page chapter because it's the longer one where I notice <sighs> this is so damn long. So what I will do is, it's the five pages, it's the 11 pages, I will read it. Like the first time I just like blurted it all out and I was like, cool, let's read through this. And I'm like, oh, this wording isn't correct or, oh, I don't want that comma there. Or like, I've literally gone through it 10, not even 10 times, probably more. Like it, I've gone through it so many times, I've edited it so much, it's fucking crazy. I have officially become a perfectionist. Like, am I okay? Like, should I just, like, I need to talk about this to a therapist. I have a therapist, but I don't feel like talking to her about my editing problem. And even though I'm not even, once again, I'm not sharing this with anybody, I felt so much pressure to title these damn chapters as well as the actual story itself. Like, oh my god. Do you, like, I wonder, like, I saw Christine Riccio's video on how titles for books suck. Like, it's so hard to find like the right title for your story and I just like I went through it felt like so many edits of like titles and chapter titles but honestly it was only a few but it literally it's so much thought and like I read I've read Harry Potter and the titles to me are so clever and they perfectly capture what happened in each chapter and I'm like but what am I going to do for my chapter or what's like going to be perfect for this book? It's a lot for me mentally. I am currently on my first chapter for both of the bigger books and I'm halfway, a third way through the short story. So, um, I'm just like so tired. It's been the most exhausting week of my life. Just like, I need more sleep. This damn camera is currently like balancing upon like a, a, an old Sephora box on like my armchair. So, yeah. I'm like, I am, you can obviously tell that I am a mess. I have rarely gone on social media this week. Like, I will literally, I'm following so many people, which I regret whenever I visit my Instagram now or my Twitter, whatever it may be. I go to, like, like I think it was two days ago or three days ago, I went onto Instagram and that was the last day. Like, I haven't gone since, gone on any social media since Wednesday or Thursday. And I feel like it's the worst now. Because I go onto Instagram and it's like, I haven't, I've missed so much shit and I'm like, I, I am going crazy. Like, it's like so many updates and I'm like, oh, now I have to go through all of it, which sucks because that's ridiculous. And I am so attached to social media that I feel the need to do that. And that's bad. I need to go outside and probably play with my dog some more and like, probably play a sport because I'm going that insane but like ugh, whatever what my routine has been for the past week I will do my homework I will take a shower I will have dinner and then it'll be like 7 or 7 30 and I will just start writing until 9 30 at night and I will go crazy I will just be on my computer for the last two hours and then by the time 9.30 hits on the clock, I'm like, okay, put the computer away and go to bed. And it has actually been 
a pretty, even though I'm exhausted, it has been a pretty good productive week for writing. For me, even though five over, a bit over 5,000 words in, in the span of a month, most of those words being in two weeks isn't a lot compared to other writers on YouTube or in general. I think it's a lot considering I go to school, I do homework, I have extracurricular activities, I have therapy, I do this and that like during the weekends and stuff. So I think I'm being pretty successful with my time. Since writing these stories, I'm getting more ideas for books, like actual genuine books that I could publish, which is amazing. Like, wow. I am getting creative. My creative juices are flowing and I'm so excited to read. No, not read. Sorry. Write my next chapter for both of my books and finish that short story and get to another short story. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I am just so happy that I am like finally into the groove again of writing and reading and oh my God, I've been waiting forever. If you guys have been following me for the past year or so. You will know I've been wanting to read this book for freaking ever, and I'm finally doing it, and I am so happy. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and leave a comment down below of what you want me to do for another video, and ring the notification bell so that you don't most likely miss a video of mine because notifications are crazy and follow me on social media because that is in the description box and leave me a dm or tweet me or um follow me on goodreads um where you will get updates multiple updates actually on what i'm reading and what i want to read and what i've already read and yeah that's pretty much it you guys i'll see you guys later bye